Hello everybody, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day and today we're gonna to be taking a look at what's going on on my Tesla solar roof. Uh, in this video though, we're going to be covering uh, day 12 and 13, June 23rd and 24th. And uh, we're gonna take a look at what they've done between those two days. It was easier to condense this into one video just because a lot of the work was little small things or things or areas of the roof that were being done that weren't easy to film. So it was just more effective to put both of these days together. But uh, both days, the uh, Tesla Energy team uh, was here the full day and they put a ton of work in. And uh, I wanna share that with you and the progress that they made. All right, so the way I'm gonna do this, I'm going to cover it by day. So on day 12, they finished uh, the rest of the big roof up top here and they started working on uh, the back of the smaller roof. Uh, we'll walk around the house in a minute so that I can show you the progress they made on that because it's very interesting, but that also is going to tie into uh, day 13. But um, day 12, finished the big roof mostly. I started working on the small roof. Uh, we are still waiting on the skylights. This section is going to remain this way until the skylights come in. They wanna make sure this is done right. So they're gonna wait for the, the new skylights to come in, and then uh, they're going to properly install them, put all the metal flashing around them, firestone them down, and then put regular glass tiles all around them. So uh, this could be a site that sits there for a while. Um, and from my understanding, and from talking from like to the project manager and stuff, this is not a Tesla issue. Uh, this was placed two weeks ago, this order, they are waiting for uh, the distributor and seller of said skylights to get them in and actually ship them to Tesla Energy so that these guys can receive them and install them. So this is not a, a Tesla delay issue. All right, now we're along the back of the house and you can see uh, major progress has been made here between the two days. Um, the one interesting thing, and I think it's pretty intelligent, is they realized they were running out of solar tiles, like we're actually out of solar tiles. Those are on order as well, and they placed that order a little bit ago. Uh, so what they did was, is they took a tile and they just laid out the bases for attaching those tiles in. And they're just gonna sit like that until those tiles actually come in. Uh, there's the wires to actually attach those PV tiles. So we're missing a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 10, about 10 uh, PV tiles or Tesla solar tiles. But you can see they have all the little feet and all the connectors there. It's just a matter of getting those tiles in so that they can complete that section of the roof. Now on other roof updates, as we walk towards the front, uh, we are still waiting for uh, the materials for this front section of the roof. And again, this is this is not this team's fault. They order this stuff. They're just waiting on either Tesla Energy to get it in or on suppliers that supply it to actually ship it out. All right, now on day 13, uh, two big things happened. Besides the finishing up of the, uh, the back side of the main roof and having those little empty sections, they spent most of the day installing the top ridge vent here. It's looking pretty sweet. We'll zoom in a little bit on that. Hopefully give you guys a closer look. Um, it's just like the one on the back roof, just longer. And it took a lot more time for them to install uh, just because of the length and just how it needs to uh, lay out. Uh, other than that, they actually attached the roof here to the inverters in the whole system. Because look, if we look up top, boom, there it is tied into the roof. You can see all of that wiring in there. It's all in pipes, but uh, you can see uh, a, lot of, <laughs> a lot of wiring going into this roof. And that is then running down and actually, they actually added caution stickers. Caution, solar current, uh, we work our way down here, uh, caution, solar current, again, goes all the way down, 
Then we have our two inverters, and we got a whole bunch of warnings on here. All right, let's see. We got DC photo vitalic uh, disconnects. Do, 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 do. Bunch of information here. And we'll move to the next side. Pretty cool. And again, that goes all the way down. And it continues under all the plants. And then, oh, there is some more information over here. Pretty sweet. And then we feed right into the panel box inside the house. And the rest, the rest is the rest is history. Again, some more information here. Pretty cool though. Alright, so maybe not the biggest visual improvement overall, but a lot of important things were done between these two days. Uh, the finishing up of the main roof and getting that ridge vent on top was definitely important and it definitely makes the roof uh, look even better. It would be great to get the two solar panels in at some point in this uh, decade. Uh, that, that, that should happen as long as uh, the supplier can actually get their act together and ship them to Tesla. I think it's a pretty well-known company too. I'll let you guys know. Um, other, other than that, getting the roof actually connected to the house with those inverters over there Pretty sweet, so that means we're well on the path of uh, getting that inspected in the in the near future. Obviously, everything needs to get finished on this uh, roof first before you can get the electric company in your town to come out to give you the green light to turn all, all of it on and actually uh, you know make power from it. Uh, fun fact: if you run your roof without getting it inspected, besides you probably get fined. Um, they actually charge you double because the way your electric company reads your meter, they see it as extra usage instead of you creating the energy and putting it back into the system. They see you running twice as much, so you'll get double the bill and you'll get in trouble. So definitely not worth it. Um, other than that, uh, if you guys are interested, our pile of stuff, yes, the pile of stuff has, has greatly diminished. This is nowhere close to where it was um, at the beginning of this uh, whole operation. So that in itself, pretty cool. We're putting some material up on the roof. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this build and, <laughs> and uh, the adventure that it is uh, definitely taking me on. Um, other than that, if you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments section down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying uh, the video content that I'm putting out. I'll have further videos in the future about other experiences I had with this roof. Kind of unrelated and little critiques and stuff for Tesla and things I like and don't like. Overall, that will be separate videos. Um, again, you're still getting my general impression of this. Things are going um, pretty well. It's just that they definitely have some supplier issues and things like that that need to be sorted out and would really speed up the building and installation process. So, uh, that, that, that can be in a, in a longer, maybe not as interesting, or maybe more interesting video. We'll see how it goes. So thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.